Hey guys, this is a um, quick video I'm going to make because I can't print nothing. I was going to print these out and then I could explain what I'm, where I'm going with this. So this is for the GNL. There's your center, pretty much the same as Andy had drawn, but I'm going to put just a regular hole pattern in it. And this is the plate that goes on the machine and it'll have the boss on the back side that aligns it to the face plate on the rotary head. It's all welded construction. There's a T-slot plate right in here. It's got three T-slots. And so this part can move to the three different T-slots depending on what part you're running. There's slots here. So this whole thing can go up and down this top block can be changed for one part to another. It'll have bolts in the bottom. Um, you got complete adjustability on the bottom here. You can see these slots right here. Basically that piece right there is a nut plate. So it allows you to have complete adjustability on moving this T-slot plate in and out this way. If there's some kind of misalignment between the center and the boss that's coming off of it, or axle, or whatever you want to call it, you can um, slide this thing this way so you can go up and down. And this is tapered right here for the 737 800, I believe, is what we're working on. And um, this could also be rubber coated by Department 301. Um, and then you could loosen this up, take it off, and uh, put other um, attachments on here for other landing gears. You can change out the center, you can change out this part, the driver, I think they call that. And um, so this is my idea on how to get this thing going for you guys. Let me know what you think move forward I'm gonna need some help with getting the right height adjustments on here to get it in the ballpark I think might need to get a little more info on that but might have to kind of build that on the fly once we get the base part of it done so let me know what you think see you Bye.